So this is a video on how to understand polar plots and at first they might seem a little bit daunting but uh, we'll dive right in and just make them real simple. So um, what we're going to do is just dive right in to a polar plot and so that you can start to see how it all works. So each one of these lines around here this curve represents the boat speed at the wind so at the wind speed so this is 20 knots of wind speed uh, this is 16 10 8 6 4 and what you will see is this is a called a polar plot for a reason because there's radials and concentric circles and and so these going up here these are actual speeds um, of the uh, boat or the wind depending on how you're reading it and also along here so these are concentric circle of 16 knots around there and then these are the angles that the boat is going to be heading at uh, in true wind not apparent wind so what the polar plot does is it shows how fast the boat will go at a particular true wind speed and at a particular angle. And so what we're going to do is just take a look for an example. This here, this little dot here, represents eight knots of wind, true wind speed. And where the boat is at 45 degrees. So this is a 45 degree angle to the true wind. And so what we can do is we can read how fast the theoretical boat speed should be and what we do is we follow this concentric circle around here and it's slightly less than four knots so if we follow that around there it's going to be about 3.8 knots and we can do that around there so you follow the concentric circle around and that gives you the boat speed so let's say that this dot here i'm just going to zoom in let's say the boat was actually doing 60 degrees uh, off the wind and the wind speed was 8 then the boat speed will be follow that around be about 5 knots okay so we can do it that way as well so that's 5 and let's say the wind speed increased to 10 knots and we were doing 60 degrees off the true wind then the boat speed would be 6 knots um, so let's go um, say 16 knots of boat speed and we're going 90 degrees off of the true wind. All right, so that means the boat would be going just a little bit more than uh, eight knots and so the boat would actually look a little bit more like that direction. Whoops, I'm do that. So if the boat was heading across the wind, so the wind is coming down here, so it's on a port beam reach okay the wind's coming from the port side it's on a beam reach the boat's going along here it's traveling in this direction got to click on that and it's going along here and the wind speed was 16 knots therefore the boat would be doing uh, eight knots right so let's um, let's go back to our 45 degree angle and um, what we're going to do is we're just going to do an example. So back to our eight knots. So we'll just click on our eight knots. And we'll get back to eight knots of boat speed and say the boat's going 45 knots, uh, 45 uh, degrees to the wind. Um, so again, 3.8 knots. And what I want to show you is something really interesting about the polar plot is that if we want to be going in an upwind direction up here towards this this up here this directly up then um, since we're going at 45 degrees off the wind because that's all we can do uh, in terms of uh, tacking and going upwind this line across here if you draw a flat line straight across it gives you your VMG your velocity made good going upwind and so you can actually measure that and so we know that we're going uh, 2.7 uh, knots um, upwind. 
So, um, and what's cool about it is that we know the boat speed, and that's represented by this line from here to here. Okay, so that's 3.8. Now, what we want to do is, so we've discovered how fast the boat can go at any wind speed, at any angle to the wind, and that's the theoretical boat speed, assuming that you have very good uh, sail trimmers on board and you're holding nice steady wheels and all that kind of stuff and the waves aren't too big and lots of other assumptions, but that's how that works. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the wind triangle. So we know that the boat speed is 3.8 knots, because it goes around there, and uh, we know that that boat speed is at 45 degrees to the wind. So what's the wind triangle look like? And the wind triangle is the true wind, apparent wind, uh, and boat speed. So we'll turn this little layer on here. And so we know the true wind is 8 knots, because we said that this is the polar plot that we're following. It's 8 knots of wind. So the true wind is 8 knots, coming down here at 45 degrees off of um, the wind, off the boat direction. And we know that the boat direction, this is this one here, so that line is exactly the same as, as that line there. So that's the boat speed, and so therefore the apparent wind has to uh, close the triangle, and so the apparent wind is at this angle uh, right here, and if we look at that, that's about, that's about this angle here, which is right between 10 and 20 degrees, so that's about 15 degrees different from the true wind. Okay, now what we know is the true wind is 45 degrees and this is 15 degrees so the difference there is 30 degrees so that angle from the apparent wind to where you are heading so that means if you're looking directly ahead on the boat standing on the boat and looking directly to where the boat's going and then you feel the wind off on your port side, that would be 30 degrees. And that is about what you typically can sail as close to the wind as possible. So your apparent wind is 30 degrees. Also, if you look at the true wind direction and the apparent wind direction, you will see that it's called the true wind is aft of the apparent wind. Now what that means is if you are standing on the boat and you put your arm out and point towards the apparent wind and then you move your arm to point towards the true wind, your arm would be moving aft. Your, your hand would move aft. So that uh, should clear up that confusion. People say the true wind is aft of the apparent wind. So let's take a look at some other just triangles just to throw in. So this is the four knot uh, wind triangle. So that's four knots around here at 45 degrees. So this line here, this line, is the same length as that line right there. All right. So that's your four knot triangle. And let's take a look at your eight knot six knot triangle and then there's that eight knot thrown one in there and here's your ten knot triangle and what I want you to actually take a look at which is quite interesting is that the apparent wind actually hasn't changed direction even though we've got an increase in in true wind speed so the true wind speed went from say four knots to ten knots but the apparent wind direction did not change um, and that's because there's some sort of initial linearity to it all but once you get going up to 16 knots triangle then things start to change a little bit because the boat can't go as fast there's too much drag in the water and so your apparent wind is actually going to uh, bear off a little bit and then if we go to the 20 knot wind triangle so have a look at that one and that is even further off.
okay so you get up to 20 knots your apparent wind is actually going to be just eh, not far off maybe 33 34 degrees something like that um, just to hold your best uh, course okay um, so what we're going to do is also um, just show one more thing on here so these are all the wind triangles and this one here is just you'll see this just sort of sitting by, out by itself sometimes uh, what's the true wind parent wind and boat speed uh, triangle and so this is it it really comes from the polar plot so you'll see people putting this out there um, what is the parent wind the true wind and so you know what that it comes from it comes from uh, the polar plot but remember if you look at the polar plot it can get a wee bit uh, exciting at some times um, so I think that is pretty much it that should be a really good explanation for you on how a polar plot works um, how the wind triangle comes about with true wind and apparent wind and boat speed so uh, there you go